this segment will review some of the controller terminology you have previously studied. It will extend the study of controller types and modes. Touch on their application to a process. Show process or measurement response resulting from controller types. And results from adjustments to the responses in the controller. The on-off controller is one for which the output is either maximum or minimum. There is no in-between or throttle position. The control valve is in either of two positions. It is fully open or fully closed. Consequently, on-off control is also called two-position control. Since the control valve is either all the way open or completely closed, the control record will be a cycle. The control valve changes position each time the measurement crosses the set point. The shape of the on-off controller response curve is relative to the capacity of the system. A high capacity system can more readily withstand the shock of the two positions of the control valve. An on-off level control on this vessel may produce a record as shown. Increase the capacity by laying the vessel on its side and the record may look like this. There is very little application for on-off control in our plants. Some applications are heating systems for buildings, hot water heaters, and storage tank water draw-off controls. All of these are high-capacity systems. The proportional controller allows the controller output and valve to assume a throttle position somewhere between maximum and minimum. However, it is necessary for the control point to be within the proportional band. Otherwise, the output would be at one of the extremes. What is the percent proportional band here? It is 200 divided by 600 equals 33 and a third percent. Remember, percent proportional band equals the percent of full-scale pin movement it takes to make the controller output change from minimum to maximum, or vice versa. This proportional level controller is controlling the tank level. The set point and the control point are together. What should be the output air pressure? It should be 9 PSI for a well-aligned proportional controller. Since the control point and set point of our level control are together, the response curve, or record, will look like this. If we create a load change by increasing the water supply rate, the level will rise and the control valve will open further. The control record will look like this. For the control valve to assume a different stem position, the control point 
must move somewhere else in the proportional band. Which means the process variable, the level in our example, must move to some position other than the set point. Proportional action only cannot compensate for a load change. The wider the proportional band, the greater the offset will be. Now work exercise one in your workbook. To compensate for offset caused by a load change and bring the control point back to the set point, the controller must have reset or integral action, mechanically the reset adjustment allows the reset pressure to balance with the proportional pressure, whether the pressure is PSI for pneumatic or voltage for the electronic controller. Reset is measured in repeats per minute or minutes per repeat. One is the reciprocal of the other. What is a repeat? Reset repeats the controller output change caused by proportional action. This curve shows a proportional response to a step change in the set point at time two minutes. The output change is one pound from five to six PSI. This one pound change is what is repeated by the reset action. The reset rate shown here is one repeat of the one pound output per minute. Curve A shows a half a repeat per minute. B shows two repeats per minute. Can you convert these to minutes per repeat? Zero point five repeats per minute equals one over zero point five equals two minutes per repeat. Two repeats per minute equals one over two equals zero point five minutes per repeat. If the proportional response change is larger, the reset will repeat a larger amount. Here the two pound change is repeated at the rate of one minute per repeat. For explanatory purposes we have shown the step change to the controller set point as an open loop response with no feedback from the process. Actually, the reset action diminishes as the control point nears the set point. The repeats per minute remain the same, but the pressure repeated is less because the proportional change is smaller when the pen is nearer to the set point. Reset action is a function of both the time and distance the control point is away from the set point. Reset action stops when set point and control point are together. Mathematically, the response curve for reset action 
is an integration of the time and distance the control point is away from the set point. Therefore, reset action is also called integral action or integral response. There is no change in the measurement units. They are either minutes per repeat or repeats per minute. The addition of reset has allowed our controller to compensate for the load change. Set point and control point coincide. The valve has opened to a different degree. Whereas after a load change, the response curve for our proportional controller looked like this. The addition of reset will make it look like this. Reset has corrected for the load change. Proportional control is satisfactory for applications where the control point does not have to be maintained at a precise position. An example is a cooling tower sump level. Or a storage tank temperature. If the control point must be maintained at a precise position, the application calls for a proportional plus reset controller. Examples are a fractionator tower top temperature. Or the coil outlet temperature of a furnace. Now work exercise two in your workbook.